Well, we're going to um, also talk to Jumana Abuaksa, who is project manager at the Greek Refugee Project, Alpita <coughs> Home, now in Washington, D.C., um, trying to deal with the fact that you're representing, what, some 82 families, a number of um, women parliamentarians from Afghanistan who evacuated um, from Afghanistan, like Farzana, um, but have been stuck in Greece for over a year and a half. What is the issue, Jumana? Good morning, Amy, and thank you for the invite. Um, the, we have um, our founder, our organization, LP the Home, has been founded by our founder, uh, Ahmed Khan, who's an American uh, philanthropist. And after the fall of Kabul in August uh, 21, he had evacuated over 1,000 uh, Afghans to different countries. Um, in Greece, we have received around 400 uh, people. Out of those, uh, we had 18 uh, uh, women parliament members of Afghanistan and their family members. 80 percent of those have already left. However, uh, the 20 percent uh, left is still uh, in Greece. Uh, we have different applications for different people, like we have applications to the U.S. There are four different applications to the U.S., and we have applications to Canada. Each application has its timeline. For Canada, it, which was the fastest application and which all, uh, most of the parliamentarians have for, the 20 percent, uh, according to Canadian uh, sources, it's under security screening. It's been more than 18 months that these people have been in Greece. We've been hosting them, providing them with all uh, the, with assistance on everything, medical, mental health, legal, uh, support in uh, finding jobs, trying to help the kids going to school, uh, different, ser different other services that we provide. However, their applications have been stuck. This is why I'm currently in D.C., and next week I will be in New York to try to have meetings and push for the expedite of the, uh, of the visas of the, of, our, of the families that we are hosting. Uh, I know that there's—it's uh, very important to do the security checks and the security screenings. However, these people are stranded. They are in limbo. There's nothing— clear for them for how long they will stay. They're already stressed and depressed from becoming uh, refugees outside their countries. However, the stress of not knowing when and uh, if they will move on to their destination country is also making it worse. We're seeing a lot of uh, depression, self-harm, increased uh, problems within the families and stress. And we are trying to do our best in order to uh, make sure that these families move on to their final destination and resettle and start their families, their new lives there with their families. Jumana, we don't have very much time, but if you could say a little bit more about what you understand. You were saying that Canada has been the easiest country uh, and the fastest for Afghan refugees to go. What is holding this up now? What kinds of security clearances are these uh, uh, Afghan parliamentarians, former parliamentarians, required now to submit to? I wish I knew. <laughs> We've been asking. It's not just for Canada. It's for, uh, for the U.S. as well. Uh, with uh, For Canada, we had 80 percent leaving who had applications to Canada. The 20 percent are still under security screening, which we are not aware of uh, what's happening. This is, uh, uh, But for everyone else, it's the same. We have lots of cases who are highly—the high, uh, the people we're hosting, they are parliamentarians, doctors, ministers, judges, uh, human rights activists, women activists. And all these people are well known and had uh, strong, str uh, strong uh, links with either the American government or with the foreign allies. And their CV and history is clear. And we see how many applications um, are processed and at some stage they're stuck. We, uh, just before receiving the visa, it gets sent back to their country, to the country uh, for additional reviewing or for additional papers. So there's a lot of delays happening, well, a lot of uh, frustration, because nothing is clear. 
Juman Abouaksa will continue to follow this story, project manager at the Greek refugee project Elpida Home, in from Greece to lobby Biden administration officials to accept Afghan women parliamentarians and their families and others who've been languishing in Greece for the last year and a half. And Farzana Kochai, Afghan women's rights activist who served in the Afghan parliament, speaking to us from Winnipeg, Canada.